Here we are looking at a remote collaboration experiment between two users. One user, seen in person in the video, is using the Keck Caves cave, whereas the other user, seen via a remote real-time 3D video connection, is using a low-cost VR environment in the IDAF VR lab across the street. The central idea behind the system is that users at different locations, across the street or across a continent, can enter a shared space and collaborate as if they were in fact in the same room. To achieve this, the system consists of three components. A collaboration infrastructure providing shared three-dimensional workspaces developed at Keck Caves, a real-time 3D video capturing system developed at the UC Berkeley Tele-Immersion Lab, and 3D Visualizer, a shared visualization application developed at Keck Caves as well. The collaboration component works exactly like a multiplayer online game system such as Half-Life or World of Warcraft, or an online 3D world such as Second Life. Users start a client application on their own computers and connect to a collaboration server somewhere on the Internet. The server keeps track of all connected users and forwards each user's actions to all other users in real time. The biggest difference to conventional multiplayer games is that the collaboration infrastructure, when used in an immersive environment, puts one local and multiple remote users into the same physical space and that it is usually not used to play games. The 3D video transmission shown here is an optional but important add-on to the basic collaboration infrastructure. Instead of drawing simple avatars representing remote users' positions and orientations in the shared workspace, we display a 3D video image of each remote user on each client computer. As a result, users inside an immersive environment, such as the cave shown here, see holograms of remote users inside their environments. The collaboration infrastructure ensures that a remote user's 3D video avatar is shown at the correct position, orientation and size in relation to the shared workspace. In a nutshell, this ensures that when Alice is directly looking at Bob's 3D video avatar, Bob sees Alice's 3D video avatar looking directly at him. This correct handling of eye lines is crucial to support natural interactions with remote users. Interestingly, interaction still feels natural even when 3D video is relatively low fidelity, as here, and when remote users' avatars appear at different sizes or even upside down. For example, when Alice zooms into the shared workspace on her computer, say to look at a small detail or to make more accurate measurements, Bob would see her becoming smaller on his computer. Similarly, if Bob were to rotate the data on his computer, Alice would see his avatar rotating around the data instead. This approach sounds strange, but it is perfectly natural. It is the equivalent of how navigation works in multiplayer games, for example. If player A walks down a hallway in a building, all other players see A's avatar walking down the hallway. The visualization application used in this experiment, 3D Visualizer, has a strong focus on interactive data exploration. Instead of looking at pre-made visualizations, users explore 3D data by interactively creating visualization elements, such as color mapped slices, isosurfaces, or streamlines. For this experiment, 3D Visualizer has been collaboratified by transmitting each user's visualization elements to all other users in real time. This means that if Alice creates a slice and drags it through the data using her client application, Bob sees her slice moving through the data at the same time. This is the same behavior that would be seen by two users sitting right next to each other, working with a single instance of 3D Visualizer on the same computer. The combination of collaboration infrastructure, 3D video capture and shared applications supports all features one would expect from a shared three-dimensional workspace. Alice can extract an ISO surface in the shared data and all users see the surface immediately. Bob can then point at a particular feature in the surface Alice just created and Alice can see Bob's avatar pointing at the same feature at the same time. This allows participants to discuss the shared data in the same way exactly as if they were in the same room.